Hi, everybody. It's Randy from the Triple Clowns, and I'm bringing you the eye test. What everybody wants to see, they want to see Flightline versus Jackie's Warrior. So I put them side by side, races at the same time of their past race at Belmont, where they both ran like monsters. We'll break down the break. We'll talk about the race. And so let's just get right to it. Okay. Right off the bat, as you can see, Jackie's Warriors up top in the green with blue stripes. Breaks very, very nicely where Flightline didn't break at all. Flightline didn't break at all. So advantage Jackie's Warrior for breaking because Flightline does do that. So that could be a problem if Jackie's Warrior was in the same race with him. Let's keep that in mind. They're both making a huge rush right here. Jackie's Warrior is already in the front now, Flightline got steadied there a little bit, so he got cut off by the two. The two cut him off. Jackie's Warrior is there. One wants to run with Jackie's Warrior, but that's just silly. Jackie's Warrior in nice control right there. And as you can see, Flightline on the bottom screen is actually in third place right now where he had to go back. So he's going to make his rush, that's for sure. Jackie's Warrior already in front. Now, here comes Flightline with a huge rush right up the inside. You think he's going to take it, but the two kind of comes in on him a little bit right there. Jackie's Warrior gets the one pulling up on the side of him. No match there. Now, Flightline's got to kind of go back. He's got to pick his route. Two's not going to let him on the inside, so Flightline's going to have to go back and try to go on the outside, which he does. Jackie's Warrior in nice control, nice command. All right, now... You can see that the opening quarters just went up. Now, the opening quarter for Jackie's Warrior was 22.83. For Flightline, it was 22.78. Now, that was for the leader in the Flightline race. So, Flightline a little bit behind at this point in the quarter, but did have some trouble and also running a mile. So, very, very nice um, uh, uh, quarter mile there by both horses, but pretty fast at both ends. So, let's keep watching. Now, Flightline's now going to the outside. Jackie's Warrior is just in command right here. And Jackie's Warrior is just coasting home while Flightline still sits in second. Now, Flightline says, you know what? Enough of this. I'm going outside. Jackie's Warrior is just playing around. And as you can see right there, their half miles were 45.52 for Jackie's Warrior, 45.01 for Flightline, who's not even in the lead at this point. So it's pretty close. Let's just, just say it'd be a horse race right now if they're both running the same speeds. They'd be side by side, which is pretty interesting when you really think about it. Now, Jackie's Warrior is just, this is, a, this is a stroll in the park right here. While you see Flightline on the bottom is in a horse race. And Jackie's Warrior is just going to extend and keep going. Looks like a lot left in the tank. Neither one of these horses are being worked that hard right now. Jackie's Warrior is well in hand right there as they come down the stretch. And we'll see Jackie's Warrior cross the finish line in a moment with a nice time of 115, a very good time. And now we go to watching Flight Lines finish where, I mean, they're both in hand. They're both tr trotting home. Um, Flight Lines time wasn't that great coming home compared to Jackie's Warrior, but was going a mile, ran very hard at first. Did what he needed, that's for sure. So let's just watch him cross the finish line. All right. Now, and as you can see, when they hit the six furlong mark, um, 108.54 was flight lines and i believe um high 108 was was um jackie's word so at six furlongs flight line yes would have been ahead seven furlongs i don't know the number on that but it would have been really close i mean it would have been a horse race so let me know everybody out there what you guys think who would win in this race seven and a half furlongs that'd be perfect wouldn't it but what if it went a mile what if it went six six and a half what if it went a mile and an eighth? Whatever. 
Tell me, who do you think is better? Who would win? What distance would they need to go against each other? Where do you hope they meet? Do you think one of them's overrated and the other one's not? Let us know. We welcome all the comments. See you later, everybody. Hit that subscribe button.